Okay. I like your first name, by the way. We got something in common. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Coach on the road once again, take your youngsters behind the scenes for Major League Baseball. And I got the man here, Mike Oak. I pronounce it right? Close. Oh, oh, you're good. Oh, you're good. I'm good at butchering yeah. names. <laughs> yeah, you're good. So we're taking our youngsters behind the scenes of what it's like being a Major League player. So what's the experience like for you thus far? Uh, definitely the Major League life is a lot better than the minor leagues. Um, you know, there's no five-star hotels in the minor leagues? Not really. No, no, no bus rides or four o'clock wake-up calls. But, uh, yeah, they, you know, they have everything you need here to get ready for a game. When it comes to getting your body ready, you got steam rooms, you got massages, all that stuff, and plenty of coaches to get extra work in. And, you know, it's it's they do whatever they can to keep us uh, keep us fresh. Hey, you know, I reach those young inspiring high school college baseball players. They think you guys show up at 615 for a 17 game. No, no, we get usually most of the guys get here around <laughs> You know, one, one thirty-two around there. It's um, everyone has their routine. You know, p pitchers are a little bit different, especially starting pitchers if they uh, if they're starting. But a lot of position player guys get here early, watch some film, swing a little bit, get some work done defensively, and then start it up. So when you come to the ballpark and you walk in this locker room, look over and see your locker, your name up there, man. Do you pinch yourself like I'm really here? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's. It's not easy to get here. There's a lot of hard work, and um, you know you got to give up a lot of things when you're when you're training and when you're uh, you know your friends are going out in high school and college, and and you got to just stay focused and you know remember what you want to do as a as your goal is to get here, and um, you know if you stay focused and stay on the right track, you'll you know you got a chance to be here. You know I used to coach college baseball, scouted for five major league okay. teams. I would always tell my guys that if you want to play on this level, you got to eat, drink, and sleep. But importantly, you got to be able to hit major league pitching. Yeah, yeah. Now, I mean, how tough is it to go out there and send that batter's box against major league pitching? It is. Uh, it's a learning experience. You know, you gotta you gotta take the you gotta take negatives and build off of that, and you know, try and make adjustments every day. And um, obviously, it's a game of failure, so. Mm -hmm. You're trying to constantly um, look at those at bats that you, you know, you may have got out on, and see what you could do in the future to get better. And I mean, on this level, you know, you teach guys, or I would teach guys, you, you sit on a fastball, just all speed pitches. But on this level, you don't know what pitchers go throw at any given time. Right. That's what makes them good, and you know, that's why you have to do a little bit more. Um, you got to watch a little bit more film and mm -hmm. kind of go off some scouting reports, and you, know, you got to watch the game carefully every at bat. You don't mm -hmm. just sit in the uh, dugout and eat seeds all day. You got to see what the pitchers feature in that day. And, and you just come up with some you know, educated guess that you might be in a good spot to hit and go for that pitch. And, you know, people don't know a lot of characters uh, on teams in the big leagues, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of characters around here. And that's what makes it fun. You know, yeah. they, you got to remember this it is a game. and It is supposed to be fun. So to have to have those guys on a team keeps everyone loose and makes it better. And, you know, a little bird told me that you started across town with the Cubs. I did. And, you know, that's Cubs Sox right yeah, here in Chicago. It's, it's weird how it happens, but, you know, it's, it's definitely been a crazy year, and um, I'm happy to be here, happy to have this opportunity, and uh, just looking to make the best of it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I saw you hit a couple of tape measure home runs. Uh, is that a prelude for what's to come? Yeah, we'll, we'll hope. You know, I definitely I got some work to do, and I'm excited to, to work on those things in the off season and, uh you know, just I'll take the positives from this year and build from it. Coach said you youngsters behind the scenes with the man, Mr. O. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. No problem. Thanks a lot.